What's up guys, Justin here, and today on the Let's Revive series, we are going to be talking about Rolling Acres Mall. I really enjoy making these Let's Revive series, and I know I had to do one on Rolling Acres. For those of you who are new here, first of all, welcome. But second of all, Rolling Acres is one of the most infamous shopping malls because it is pretty much the textbook definition for the rise and fall of the American shopping mall. Also, I do want to mention that I did do a video on Rolling Acres Mall a couple years ago. I will put a link in the description as well as an annotation at the end of the video. For our location for the new Rolling Acres Mall, we are going to keep it in the same location where it was in, in Akron, Ohio. But we are also going to build it as it was before it was demolished. I was looking up the average income here and I found that on average it was around $31,000 a year. With that being said, I think the best thing to do is keep them all with cheaper stores and recreational activities. I think recreational especially because it is going to keep people coming in. Something I decided to do with this mall is give you guys the option to pick what should be here. I made a post in the community tab asking you guys what should be there, and now I'm going to read your responses. Slacking Packing says Elder Beerman and Kohl's. Well, Kohl's is a great idea, actually. You know, it's a cheaper end store, it's not prohibitively expensive, and they've got really good deals that keep you coming back in. Now, Elder Beerman, uh, I'm not as familiar with them. I know I've mentioned them in other mall videos, so I'm not really sure how they're doing. We don't have any here as far as I know. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely a possibility. So, Caleb Douglas says, Macy's, Dick's Sporting Goods, and Gold's Gym. Uh, Macy's is definitely a good one. Um, I feel like they tend to work in just about any shopping malls most of the time. Uh, Dick's Sporting Goods is another good one. I see. I feel like they're, they're using Dick's Sporting Goods a lot more in shopping malls nowadays. Uh, and Gold's Gym. Uh, now, it's interesting because usually I feel Gold's Gym usually tends to be... I feel like when I see a lot of dead malls, I see a lot of gyms being added in there, but you want to, but you know something. It's recreational, so I think it can work. And I think if we make it presentable, definitely we can make it work. So I think it's a great suggestion. Thank you. Mike the Subaru Lover says, Dave & Buster's, Boscov's, Macy's, Best Buy, and an AMC theater. I would have picked Belk as one, but they currently don't have any stores in that region. Uh, yes, Belk I do think would be a good one. Um, I'm not really sure if they have any stores at North either. either. Well, you said they don't. But I seem to remember them being very, pretty affordable. We actually used to have one up here at the South Park Mall years ago in the mid-90s. But anyway, uh, Dave & Buster's, yes, I do think that is a great idea. Uh, it's recreational and it brings people in. Uh, Boscov's, that's, that's another one kind of like Elder Beerman where I'm not... I mean, I've mentioned them in videos before. I'm not sure how well that chain is doing as a whole. But yeah, it's a, definitely a good idea. It's affordable. Uh, Macy's, yep, just like what I told Caleb, great idea. Best Buy, yes, I think Best Buy is another good option. And AMC Theater, yes, I think that AMC is a great idea. I definitely think a movie theater will keep people coming in. Alright, HH Fox Addict, so Boscov's, uh, Dave & Buster's, AMC Theaters, and JC Penney's. Well, I actually just answered just about all of those in the comment before that, but uh, definitely thank you for your comment. Uh, J.C. Penney, I think, is a great one. Uh, Rolling Acres, of course, used to have a J.C. Penney's, but yeah, I definitely think it could work here. Uh, Michael Keckler says, Nordstrom, Bloomingdale's, Neiman Marcus, Apple, Microsoft Store, Banana Republic, Express Men. Somebody slap me. I deserve it. No, I don't think that's necessary, man, but I, I definitely appreciate your comments and your feedback. Uh, Nordstrom and Bloomingdale's. Uh, Nordstrom, I know, is kind of a higher end. I'm not sure if it would work as much with the income level here, but it's a great idea. Uh, Bloomingdale's. Now, I feel like I've heard that name in like other mall videos I've seen. I, like I said, I'm not as familiar with that chain. And Neiman Marcus, uh, also, once again, not as familiar with them. But it's, both are good ideas. Because, uh, I mean, they're still in business. Um, and then Apple, Microsoft Store, Banana Republic, and Express Men. Yeah, I actually think those are decent ideas here. So thank you for your comment. All right, Sonic, sa Sonic Thillion says, Premark, Dick's, Shoe Department, Encore on top of 
on top of one with Red Robin at the bottom. BJ's and Forever 21. Uh, Primark, I'm actually not familiar with that chain. Uh, Dick's, uh, just like I said, I think it was Caleb said, yes, Caleb said it as well. Yes, Dick's Sporting Goods, a great idea. Uh, Shoe Department, uh, great, uh, an Encore are great. Uh, Shoe Department, I feel, is a pretty affordable uh, shoe uh, distributor, especially now that Payless is going out the door. Uh, Red Robin, yes, good one. BJ's and Forever 21, hey, also good suggestions. Uh, Dave Porter says, Kroger Marketplace, Boscov's, Macy's, H&M, and either Dave and Buster's or Round One. Uh, great, I, great, thank you, uh, Dave. So, Kroger's a great one. I think grocery stores could definitely keep people coming in. Uh, Boscov's, like some of the other ones, not as familiar with Boscov's. Uh, but, I mean, hey, I think it, it's it's good. Macy's answered that one. H&M is a good one. Uh, definitely Dave and Buster's, second suggestion for Dave and Buster's. So, I definitely think it works. I agree with the people that have suggested that. And round one, I'm not as familiar with them. But because you said Dave and Buster's or round one, I'm, I'm guessing that is a very similar thing. Like, it's recreational. Uh, guys, thank you so much for your suggestions. I really appreciate them. This this was actually fun to read all, all your posts, so let's move on with the rest of the video, shall we? So based on what you guys have given me, so let's start with our anchor stores. Rolling Acres had five anchor stores at their peak, so that's what we're going to do here. Dick's Sporting Goods will be one. AMC Theaters is another great option because it is an incentive to go to the mall, definitely. Uh, JC Penney's is a good option. I know the chain is not doing as hot as they once were, but I can see them doing well here because of their affordable prices. Originally, they converted to an outlet store at the original Rolling Acres, but I think that that was due to low traffic at the mall more than the chain itself. So if we play our cards right, I think JC Penney's can work here. Dave & Buster's is another great anchor because just like a AMC Theaters, is an, it is an incentive to come out and go to the mall. For our final anchor, we will do Macy's, for the same reasons as JCPenney's. It's an affordable, an alternative to clothes shopping. Now, I am going to do one thing a little differently here that was not in the original Rolling Acres Mall, at least as far as I know. I'm going to put a mid-anchor in here. I'm going to add a Walmart in here, and it'll be two floors, but it can only be accessed from the inside of the mall. For our other stores, I like a lot of the ideas you guys shared. So let's add an Apple Store, Microsoft Store. Shoe Department, H&M, Forever 21, Banana Republic, Express Men, Best Buy, Gold's Gym, and Kohl's. Another great addition to the mall would be Rose's Department Stores. And now I think it's time to move on to the food court. Sonic suggested we put a Red Robin in here, and I think that's an excellent idea. I think it is one of the stronger restaurant chains out there, so let's add it. As far as other chains, Let's add some bigger ones, more well-known chains like McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, Cadoba, or Chipotle, and which which, just to name a few. If you guys can think of any other restaurants, please let me know down below. And also like with some of our other stores, I think just like with the other malls we've had, uh, we'll attract all tenants here. We'll attract a t we will attract tenants here by offering free rent the first three months. I also cannot forget this. We need to have good security here. I bring this up because it is believed that the biggest mistake the original Rolling Acres did was going from off-duty police officers to regular mall security, and this was an attempt to cut costs. We are going to use off-duty police officers, so we will need to make sure we have a place set up for the Akron Police Headquarters. So what do you guys think of this idea to revive Rolling Acres? Do you think it has potential, or is this a totally crazy idea and it could never work? Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. Also, if there is an abandoned or demolished mall you would like me to revive, let me know down below. Until next time.